Greetings Trailblazer and welcome to Hongkai Star Rail So, in the last video we have completed the... What is it called again? Here we are Opportunity makes the thief for part 1 and part 2 So today I will be covering about part 3 And before that So yeah, like FPS is, uh, what can I say, there's nothing like the rush of hunting people down and killing them. I mean, my heart's beating, my heart's beating, my hands are shaking, my hands are shaking, but I'm still shooting, and I'm still getting the headshots, it's like, boom, man, shot, boom, man, shot, I'm still getting the headshots, it's like, boom, man, shot, boom, man, shot, boom, man, shot, I'm still getting the headshots, it's like, boom, man, shot, boom, man, shot, boom, man, shot, I'm still getting the headshots, it's like, boom, Again, I've heard from Miss Eris that under your superb management, the museum is on the verge of regaining the thriving crowds of its heyday. If the momentum continues, and if the History Culture Hall can reopen on schedule, the museum's complete revival is surely just around the corner. What went missing this time? So... You guessed it already. I'm afraid there's been another theft. Like the previous cases, a valuable item was stolen from our exhibit, this time in the History Culture Hall. The item in question has a connection to you. So what is it? <laughs> Have I piqued your curiosity? It'll be easier to explain once we're actually in the History Culture Hall. Why don't I take you there now? With an exhibit like this, all Bellabakians will know your story. You can probably guess from the name that the History Culture Hall houses artifacts, replicas, and documents that are of great historical significance to Bellabag. Every passing day, we Bellabagians must continue to endure the city's harsh environment. The trials and experiences of our ancestors serve as a reminder that the path of survival belongs to every generation of our people. Every child in Bellabog should visit this exhibit at least once. <sighs> no, once isn't nearly enough. This is the item in question. This projector is a limited edition version, custom made for the museum. The only one of its kind in the whole of Bellabog. It can produce images with a resolution up to... Oh, sorry. I'm doing my tour guide thing again. I'm sure someone as well-traveled as yourself has seen much fancier equipment than this. Wow, wee! This is so high-tech! Nice try keeping a straight face. The issue isn't the projector, but the microfilm that goes into it. It's the most crucial piece of this exhibit, and it was stolen. There were some very valuable images on that film, and we hadn't gotten around to making a backup. I must admit, the thieves chose a good target, and they were fast and efficient. Slide projection is a new addition to the museum. It was intended to be a surprise for visitors when the History Culture Hall reopened. If we don't recover the microfilm, the hall's opening will have to be postponed indefinitely. Some of the images stored on that film are related to you, Miss March 7th, and Master Dong Hong. The curators of the museum wanted to take this opportunity to tell the story of the Astral Express's visit to Bellabog. You did a secret photo shoot of us? Uh, th that's beside the point. Huh? Oh! <laughs> okay, fine, fine with me. I heard you're back in Bellabog again, Chi Morpha. How have you been? I'm well, Madam Guardian. The people of Bellabog are welcoming me with open arms, Madam Supreme Guardian. There's no need to be so formal with me, Chimorfa. 
Pella has already reported to me on matters regarding the museum. Why? Regarding museum management and the recovery of valuable exhibits, thanks to your efforts, progress has been made on these efforts. However, the artifact thief has not yet been apprehended and they cannot be allowed to roam free any longer. If you have time, could you come to Claypoth Fort for a visit? I want to discuss the follow-up investigation plans with you. I'll come with Pela. We'll go together. You with Pela? Excellent. I'll be waiting in my office. Was that a message from Lady Branya? Hmm. This theft case has been dragging on for too long. She must have decided to intervene. If she can delegate more resources to the investigation, that should help it move forward faster. No point in waiting around here then. Let's go pay Lady Branya a visit. History and Culture Museum? I appreciate your coming here on such short notice. I should have gotten involved earlier, but I was tied up with other responsibilities. My apologies for letting you take on the investigation without proper support. Lady Branya, we never saw it like that. <laughs> There's no one else here, Pela. No need for such formality. <laughs> okay, Miss Branya. I heard that you helped recover a number of valuable items for the museum, and that you've been running the museum as a part-time manager? Do you have any insights into this serial theft case? Whoever behind this is one smooth criminal for sure. It's a reference again, and I know what it is. Well, on that point, we can agree. In any case, this fiasco has been going on right under our noses for too long. Regardless of how cunning and talented the culprit may be, we must draw them out and demonstrate the resolve of the architects. I will issue an immediate directive to mobilize all on-duty Silverman guards in the city to conduct a door-to-door -door investigation. You're familiar with many of the locals in the administrative district, right? If possible, I'd like you to head to the city center and see if they have any clues to offer us. Understood. We'll head there at once, Miss Branya. <sighs> Guess you're stuck with me again for this assignment. Let's meet up at Fountain Plaza. Let's start with people we already know. Agreed. That'll be more efficient. I remember lots of folks like to relax around the plaza. Let's head there first. Uh, should we start with Nika or... Yeah, let's just start with him first. Chavez, my man! I remember you. Do you have any questions after reading the Scam Prevention Guide? Perhaps you've decided to join the Dark Blue Scam Victims Association. Do you know anything about the stolen museum artifacts? How could I not? Precious items from the History and Culture Museum have been stolen one after another. And the culprit remains at large, despite the Silvermane Guard's noblest efforts to track them down. Ugh, I'll tell you the truth. I've been preparing to publicly accuse the person responsible for this whole thing for two days now. 
Is it Sampo again? Huh? Oh, wait. So you have incriminating evidence against the culprit? <laughs> evidence? Who needs evidence? Let me tell you, there is only one person in all of Bellabog who could do such a thing. That shameless blue-haired fraudster. Come on, man. I don't know, man. Oh. Yeah, but why? Why, Chavez? Why? You guys are here to investigate the case? Perfect. I'll give you a list of the culprit's scams, too. Sorry, sir. Today we're only here to investigate the museum thefts. And we can't close the case without evidence. If you come across any reliable clues, please report them to an on-duty Silvermane guard. Let's get going. Ah, Chavez, Chavez. Ready to sign the petition? Have any other questions? Do you know anything about the stolen museum artifacts? Ah, you mean the items that have been disappearing mysteriously from the History and Culture Museum? I heard tell. I wonder if they got their hands on the original manuscripts of Tale of the Winterlands. Absolutely not! Don't worry, ma'am. I will protect those manuscripts with my life. Oh, wow. That's a relief to hear. I didn't realize you were so passionate. Uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, sorry about that. Uh, back to the topic at hand. Do you have any clues that could be linked to the theft of the museum's artifacts? Have you noticed anything unusual lately? Well, let me think. The editorial department has been recruiting recently. The new editor intern was scolded by the editor-in-chief a few times. And then... Uh, sorry, these are all everyday occurrences. I really don't know of any noteworthy clues. Maybe you could try asking the other people around here? I see. Sorry for taking up your time. Let's move along then. of the Everwinter City, proud citizens of the preservation, hold your heads up high. Grind not against the mundane vulgarities of your everyday lives. Always remember, deep in your hearts, the teachings of the architects and the supreme guardian. The man before you seems so engrossed in the elaborate speech performance that he doesn't seem to have noticed your arrival. Do you know anything about the stolen museum artifacts? Oh, if it isn't the savior of Bellabog, the guardian's honored guest, child of the galaxy and stars. Welcome back to our eternally snow-covered yet forever beautiful winter metropolis. Um, can you please answer the question we just asked? I haven't heard of any stolen artifacts. These days, I'm too busy praising the grace of the preservation to be distracted by worldly matters. However, if your hearts are troubled by this affair, then I hope that Klepoth will bestow their blessings upon you both, and that you may soon find the evildoer who committed such a crime. Uh, thanks for your well wishes. Let's move on. Uh, another half day gone. And nothing to show for it. Ugh. Culprit is still hiding in the shadows. Can't we find even one lead? Ah, if it isn't Bella Bog's most adorable public servant. And the magnificent outsider. Good day to you. You know us? Young lady, I have seen you on many occasions near the Everwinter Monument teaching children the history of Bella Bog. <laughs> I am truly in awe of your knowledge and patience. 
Okay, thanks for the compliment, I guess. May I ask, with whom do we have the pleasure of speaking? I am Wallace Cambridge Limestein, the 25th head of the Limestein family. I am honored to make your acquaintance. And yes, I am familiar with this outsider next to you. She often walks right past me without so much as a greeting. <laughs> I don't even know who you are. I am Wallace Cambridge Limestein, the 25th head of the Limestein. All right, all right, we got it. Mr. Limestein, is there something you want to discuss with us? As a matter of fact, I do. I noticed you two had been wandering around Executive Plaza for some time now, stopping to ask questions at every turn, so I surmised you were investigating something important. As it so happens, I witnessed a strange incident recently that left me quite puzzled. And after reflecting on it for a time, I decided it would be most appropriate to inform public officials. This incident... is it related to the museum thefts? I can't say for sure that it's directly related, but a friend of mine I no longer hear from used to frequent the museum and often talked about its exhibits with a group of us tea lovers. So by no longer hear from, you mean you've been unable to get in touch with this friend of yours? Precisely. His name is Norbert. We used to chat during lunch breaks in the lobby of the Goethe Hotel, along with a few other high-class individuals, of course. And one day, Norbert suddenly stopped showing up to our tea parties. It was as though he disappeared into thin air. I still remember the last thing he said to me. Limestein, listen to me. One must be ambitious in life. I'm going to do something big for once. Be ambitious in life? Do something big for once? Coming from the mouth of a wealthy gentleman, that sounded rather curious to me. This Norbert guy, do you know what his line of work was? I'm not entirely sure. I never asked. Wouldn't the two of you friends? You wouldn't understand. Friendship between gentlemen is as pure as water. We are all dignified people. Why bother with such trivial matters? Ugh. In the eyes of most people... There's a world of difference between trivial matters and a career. I have recorded all the clues you provided, Mr. Limestein. Thank you for putting your trust in the Silvermane Guards. We will keep you informed if there are any developments in the investigation. No, no, I should be thanking you, young lady of the guards. Well then, if that's all, I shall take my leave. I wonder if this friend of Mr. Wallace has anything to do with the museum thefts. That's enough detective work for today. Questioning more people would just be a waste of energy. Let's go report back to Lady Branya. who provided the information. Norbert. Norbert. I feel like I've heard that name somewhere before. Please give me a moment to see if I can recall. Huh. I remember now. The Minister of Transportation, Noel, has a nephew named Norbert. I believe he's currently working in the Municipal Department as a Transportation Coordinator. You can remember all of the... The leader of a city should be familiar with the status and division of labor of her subordinates. That's just part of the job. Norbert's position is indeed an idle one. So it's no wonder he has time to socialize with members of the Limestein family. If what Wallace said is right, 
then Norbert must have been missing for several days already. There must be someone who knows where he is, even if they want to keep the young man secret. They'll cough it up with the right kind of encouragement. Kyle, can I ask you a favor? I would like you to visit the residence of Mr. Noel and ask around regarding the whereabouts of Mr. Norbert. Understood, Madam Guardian. Lady Branya, Miss Pela, I have returned. You were quite expedient, Kyle. Did you find anything out from the Department of Transportation? It took a little prodding, but a few of the more timid attendants started speaking up. They say that Mr. Norbert was indeed leaving at odd hours recently. Whenever someone would ask where he was headed, he'd mumble something about going to the shopping street to inspect the site. The attendants think he might have a love interest, someone he doesn't want his family to know about. They haven't mentioned anything to the Minister of Transportation. Going out at unusual hours, a shopping street, could it be? I have a request. I'd like the two of you to scout out Backwater Pass and see whether anything is happening there. Why there? While the two of you were busy questioning people in the city, I received some tip-offs. One source said that suspicious people were recently seen sneaking around the Fragmentum Corrosion Zone, and that the Silverman guards didn't prevent them from entering. Together with Norbert's mumblings about a shopping street, I think all these clues are pointing in one direction. So this Mr. Norbert could well be the museum thief we're looking for? We can't hold off a moment longer! Hurry! Let's go arrest that scoundrel! My apologies, I have a lot of business to attend to at present. I won't be joining you. Good luck recovering the stolen items. Wait, I need to... Uh... Where's the audio? Oh, no wonder why! Here you go. We can't delay a moment longer. We need to move now. Let's head up. Ooh. So we need like quantum physical ice. Okay. doesn't feel right. It's obviously an abandoned shopping street, but it also feels like people were here not too long ago. We must be cautious. Whether the culprit is Norbert or someone else, he certainly has no shortage of helpers. Shh! There are people talking inside. Let's see if we can hear them. <laughs> but sir... Pretending to be a Silvermane guard is a serious crime. Stop acting like a wimp. You think you can make a fortune with that kind of attitude? Don't overthink things. Just play your part. Today's password is roast the sausage, not the bread. You got that? Got it, sir. Roast the sausage, not the bread. Don't let anything in that doesn't know the password. Not even a fly. You got that? Don't worry, Mr. Norbert. I understand. So it is Norbert after all, and he's making his accomplice impersonate a Silvermane guard! The audacity! We found the culprit. Now we just have to catch him red-handed. Hey, you two! Don't move! Must be the accomplice. Let's think fast. Say the password or get out of here. This isn't any old shopping street, you know. Roast the sausage, not the bread. Huh? I... I yes, that's correct. <laughs> so, um, you're gonna let us in now? 
We need to talk to Mr. Norbert about some important business-related matters. Wait, did you just say Mr. Norbert? Who are you guys? This whole operation, the boss hasn't shown his face once. How could a couple of outsiders just walk in knowing his name? Looks like our cover's blown. Ay, ay, ay. Fine, fine, I'll do it. Guess we'll have to do this the hard way. I'll free you from your chains. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Perfect. Thank you, Silly. Yes. We'll probably end up running into more of Norbert's schoons up ahead. We should proceed with caution. again. Let's see what he's talking about this time. And the film? Is it packed and ready to go? Right here, boss. The buyer's arriving soon. Here, this way. Very good, very good. Well done. Patience. Soon we will all be rich. Film! Did you hear that? That film he mentioned must be the same one that was stolen from the museum. Why would someone from such a wealthy family do something like this for money? It's unbelievable! We have to find a way to stop this before they sell the film. It couldn't be. Wait, don't make a move yet. We should take some pictures as evidence in case the culprit denies the charges. Your equipment probably has better specs than mine. I'll leave the picture taking to you. <laughs> Wait. Nah. Yeah, fine. I just... Never mind. Wait. Why do I save it? Uh, never mind. Let's just get right into it. Norbert of the Cusper family and everyone else here, turn around and face me. Uh, put your hands where I can see them. W what's going on? Who are you two? Wallace says hi. What's going on here, Norbert? Didn't you say your security was impenetrable? Minions, I, I mean, Silvermane guards. Get rid of these intruders immediately. You've got a lot of nerve drawing your weapons in front of an intelligence officer of the Silvermane guards. Come on, let's give these imposters a taste of justice. Wow, -wee. let's go then. Ah! Time for a shot nap time. What? There's no point in resisting, Mr. Norbert. Your accomplices have been subdued. There's nowhere to run. You had the audacity to tell your men to disguise themselves as silver main guards. Now I'll be interested to see what kind of sentence the adjudication panel gives you. I... Uh, you... Oh, th this isn't right! You have no evidence of wrongdoing! We're just here to... Still in denial? Your secret dealings have been photographed! We have all the evidence we need! Is there anything else you want to say? I... Oh... I... I knew I couldn't trust you hooligans! Even the simplest of sales was too much for you to handle! Silverman Guard Lady, I surrender! Uh, take the microfilm back to the museum. I'm sorry. I only ask one thing. Please don't hand me over to my uncle. With Klepoth as my witness, uncle would be so angry he'd turn me into a leather jacket! Hm. That's not up to me.
Oh, Mr. Coldfeet, what should I do in a situation like this? Save me. Save me! What are you talking about? Who's got cold feet? Uh, nothing. I was just talking to myself. Oh, I had a whole life ahead of me. Is it all over? <laughs> Enough blubbing. If you didn't want to face the time, why do the crime? Everyone is responsible for the decisions they make in life. No exceptions. Oh, curse it! Curse it all! He warned me not to carry out the transaction in person, but I didn't want to spend money on hiring a bagman! I don't want to go to prison, not even for a day! Hm. If you think you can commit crimes and go unpunished, dream on! It was a difficult journey, but it had a happy ending. Not only did we manage to recover the microfilm, we also caught the culprit behind the museum thefts. That's something worth celebrating. However, I'm still a little confused. Mr. Norbert is wealthy and opportunistic, but how did he manage to find so many accomplices and organize such a large-scale smuggling operation? These questions can wait until the interrogation. As for you and me, our work ends here. Thanks for your efforts. Come on, let's take the microfilm back to the museum. Restored, the History Culture Hall can reopen to the public. Then visitors can enjoy all three of the museum's most important exhibits. I want to thank you again. On behalf of all the museum staff and all of the citizens of Bellabog. If it weren't for your help, I'm afraid many of the exhibits in this museum would have been lost. Another great accomplishment to my name. <laughs> That's for sure. And you know what? The way I see it, the museum's reopening is a very significant event and worth remembering more than any other time in the past. A whole generation has grown up in the underworld in the last decade or so, and they never had the privilege of seeing these precious works of art and historical treasures. What you've done has helped bridge a huge gap for them. So, even if it seems small to you, you did a very great thing here. <laughs> That's enough praise for now. Anyway, if you did want to continue working as a part-time manager and handle the daily operations of the History Culture Hall, I recommend talking to Miss Eris. It's not like we don't have any other suitable candidates for the position. Isn't it great you can help us with such an enjoyable job? Ah, and by the way, I'll keep you informed if we pry anything noteworthy out of that Mr. Norbert guy. See you later. And we got Bronya. Nice. Okay, here we are. Opportunity makes the tea, part four. Please say that this is the last one. Ah, nice to see you. You're looking in good spirits. The museum is packed these days. I've never seen it so full of visitors. You run a tight ship here. Still. It'd be nice if those kids would stop littering. It's barely lunchtime and I've already picked up three half-eaten packs of Snow White popping candy. Kids these days... I know, right? I'll teach them a lesson if I catch them in the act, that's for sure. By the way, you remember that Norbert guy we captured? The Silvermane guards have acquired new intel from him. I thought you might find it interesting. I always wondered, how did he, a rich kid with virtually no real-life experience, suddenly think of becoming a smuggler? There's no way someone like him could have come up with the idea of disassembling a sculpture and hiding the pieces inside robots. 
The result is just as I expected. After less than half a day of interrogation, he confessed everything. He admitted that a mysterious figure named Mr. Coldfeet persuaded him to target the museum exhibits. Mr. Coldfeet fooled Norbert into believing that many of the museum's artifacts were forcibly seized from private collectors by the Silvermane Guards. He told him that true justice would be returning the artifacts to the people. Norbert probably didn't believe any of that nonsense. I think he just wanted to prove himself and add more to his fortune. Mr. Coldfeet not only introduced him to buyers, but also gave him advice and only charged him a 30% consultant's fee. In the opinion of our young Mr. Norbert, the deal was too good to refuse. Did you find this Mr. Coldfeet? Uh, <clears throat> that's what I wanted to discuss with you. Norbert said Mr. Coldfeet operates with extreme discretion and knows the Silvermane guards his every move like the back of his hand. If he catches wind about the slightest rumor in the city, he'll disappear without a trace. If what Mr. Norbert said is true, then our safest option is to send a civilian to try to reach out to Mr. Coldfeet and lure him out of his lair. You want me to go and meet him? You guessed it. Everyone agrees that there is no better candidate than okay, you. Okay then. Norbert says he usually communicates with Mr. Coldfeet through the door of a room in the Goethe Hotel. The usual agreed meeting time is... right now. Take this as a final request from the Silvermane Guards. Can you go to the Goethe Hotel to meet with this Mr. Coldfeet? How is it, Chimorfa? Are you at the Goethe Hotel? Already outside the door. So efficient, as expected of you. Norbert said the secret signal he set with Mr. Coldfeet was three light knocks, then two heavy knocks. Now it's all up to your silver tongue, Chimorfa. You can do it, I believe in you. Collection. Thank you. Knock the door. The door remains unperturbed. Wow, okay. And you feel a chill breeze rush brush past your knees. If you stay any longer in this freezing hallway, you will soon turn into a Miss Coldfeet yourself. Response. Did I remember the wrong password? Uh, Norbert, is that you? Oh, what took you so long? Oh, I was worried the Silvermane guards might have got to you. But you're not the type to turn someone in at first capture, right? Well, it's time for me to get on out of here. After all, we already made a nice little fortune on this trip, huh? How could I ever betray such a dear friend? Uh-oh, someone's getting a little emotionally over-invested? <laughs> you know what we are? Accomplices. You know what that means? Partners in crime. You know what else that means? We are not friends. All right, enough chinwagon. So how much did the microfilm sell for? Uh-oh. I'm just gonna have to make up an amount. Hope it's believable. 500,000 credits. What? 
500,000? No offense, kid, but I can't see you haggling that kind of number. Or maybe you... What, what, what kind of hotel is this anyway? You, no peepholes on the doors! He's starting to suspect me. That's not good. I better think through the next question carefully before answering. You know, I just realized there's something I forgot. Uh, maybe you could help me remember. That Gears and Wisdom sculpture I told you to take apart and hide away? Uh, can you remind me how many pieces it had? Forty. It's forty. I remember that. <laughs> Wait, is it not 40? Because the mission says it's 40. Ay, 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 is it? Oh, come on, it's sample. Uh, uh. <laughs> no. I. Wow. 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 Is it simple all along? Come on, man. I. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Oh. <laughs> I mean, oh. If it isn't my valued client. <laughs> No wonder I recognize his voice. Wow. What a pleasant surprise to see you again. Isn't it amazing how fate brings people together? Huh? Huh? Our bridge of friendship could extend all the way to Everwinter Hill. <laughs> it's amazing no one ever suspected you. <laughs> well, I'm... I mean, how could you? Your old buddy Sampo is a model citizen these days. You know the guards on sentry duty in the restricted zone? I deliver their breakfast every day. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so, kind of cold out, huh? <laughs> Man, this is getting uncomfortable. Uh... Okay, okay, I have a proposal. I'm, I'm, I'm sure you're gonna find this very reasonable. Yeah, I made a few small fortunes in the artifact business lately, and I can give you a third of my earnings. How about that, huh? In exchange, I only ask that you please don't tell the Silvermane guards about me. Uh, just tell them you missed the culprit. You're a big hero, they won't give you a hard time about it, right? How's that sound, huh? One third is a lot of money, think about it. I would never dare to rip off a valued client such as yourself. Ah, uh, no, I had enough with you. I, I mean, how, how can you be so unaccommodating? I mean, that is not like you, sister. Oh, I knew the good times couldn't last, but I didn't think a valued client would bring them to a close. Oh, go ahead. Notify the authorities. I'd rather burn out than fade away. Yep. That blue haired guy is surely giving me some headaches. <laughs> and he's gone. Very nice. <sighs> I let him get away. <sighs> Too late now. I'll have to wait for Pela to get here. I'm here! Where's the suspect? He... vanished into thin air. I see. So he's just as cunning and crafty. 
crafty as ever. He fooled the Silvermane guards into thinking he'd changed. But we won't be falling for that act again anytime soon. And this operation ends here. You've helped us enough already. Leave the rest to the Silvermane guards. Here. These rewards are for you. I hope they come in handy in the journey ahead. Oh, by the way, if you still want to help run the History and Culture Museum, Miss Eris and I are always happy to work with you. Ah, speaking of which, Miss Eris was just looking for you. Why don't you go to the museum and talk to her? Sample, sample Koski. How am I be so unsure that you are the person behind all of these things? Sample Koski. Oh, hello. Thank you for all your help. Business at the museum is booming again. I haven't seen this many people here since I was a little girl. Oh, right. There's something I wanted to tell you. A man with blue hair came along and left a message. He asked me to pass it on to the manager of the museum. Okay. Uh, here. I haven't read the content. Do you want to take a look? Read the message. To my dearest and most valued client, congratulations! Remember this day as the day you almost caught the great Mr. Coldfeet. <laughs> so, how's museum manager life treating you? Just a little reminder <laughs> when it comes to working in museums. I'm quite the damn hand. <laughs> what I mean to say is, if you're ever in need of a passionate and professional individual, one with an inside knowledge of museum security blind spots, I'm only a call away. Don't worry. My exhibit smuggling days are behind me. <laughs> wow! So you just... Wow! I... Ah, sample. The museum has been restored to its former glory. Thank you. Catch me if you can. <laughs> Which means... Open up three exhibition areas in the Bellable History and Culture Museum. Wow. Thank you, Sample. I really hate you, you know. And thus, begin the journey of us speedrunning this thing and I will be back. Potential assistant, hey? Okay. Eh? Shimorfa? What brings you here? Are you interested in volunteering at the museum? Museum? Bronya seems have... Bronya seems to have mentioned that before. Did she send you here? Pela sent me here. Oh, I remember her. She's the intelligence officer at the Silver, Silver Main Guard. Forget it. It doesn't matter who has sent you here. I'll cut to the chase. I mean, just think about the name Bellabok History and Culture Museum. Do you really think I would fit anywhere near the history and the culture? It's not that I'm not willing to help, but I'm not suitable for the role. I'm sorry for making this a fruitless trip for you. But Bronya will be so sad about this. Uh. Can you reconsider for Bronya's sake? Fine, I'll do it. Just send me the application form. Never mind, you keep the form for me and write down what I say verbatim. I'm happy to help. As you should. Okay, let's get down to business. Listen to me carefully. 
The first question, what is your name? Sila, no last name. Sure, Sila it is. Are you done? Let's move on to the next question when you're ready. The next question, what is your personal experience? Ah, uh, I knew it. This is a tough one. Forget it. Just say that I have no experience. I can't really disclose any of the jobs I have done for the wildfire. Okay, I write down no comment here. I can tell you enjoying teasing me like this, don't you? The last question. What are your skills and expertise? Why are the questions getting trickier? Let me think. Uh, just go ahead and put down dispute resolution, which won't sound too intimidating, I hope. Fine. I'll just put down too scary to specify. Is it too late to back out now? <laughs> Okay, I've seen enough. I'm satisfied. I suppose it's done. Can I take a look? Better to keep it as a surprise. I hope this surprise is gonna be a pleasant one. Well, let's head to the overworld and submit this thing. So, though I reckon it will start, it will still be unlikely for me to pass the background check. Administrative <sighs> This museum looks so posh it, it reminds me of that orphanage in Rivertown Are you Miss Aries? I'm here to submit my volunteer guide application form should I give it to you? Yes, please give it to me. I'll pass the resume on to Miss Bella right away. This seems serious. Let's take a break here, Chimorofa. Eh? Sila, what are you doing here? Um, Did Chimorofa bring you here? Yep, that's me. I see. I've been trying to make you come for so long, but to no avail. Seems like Chimorofa is the only one who can convince you. Ahem. I guess it's my turn to ask questions now. My application didn't pass the review, right? Can I just go now? No, Paila was impressed by your ability, so she wanted me to have an interview with you. No way for you to escape now, Sila. Darn it. Anyway, let's head to the rest area. Sila and Chimorofa. The interview will be held there. Fine, I'll play along. But it's only because I'm not busy today. Thank you, Sila. As for Chimorofa, the assistant assessor, you may get on with your things first. We'll start the interview when you're ready. Perfect. And here we are. Chimorfa, are you ready? Let's begin. Please get ready, Sila. The, the interview will begin now. For some reason, I feel a bit nervous. How come you aren't saying anything as well? And you, Lady Bronya, why don't you say something? This... This is my first time speaking to you in this position and I don't know what to say. Uh, should we end the interview here? It's good for both of us. Let's not take any more of Chimorufa's time. No way! We have to go through the entire process no matter what. Shimorofa, how do you think I should ask the questions as an interview? Just ask questions based on the resume. 
I see. I'll ask the questions based on the resume then. This is also a great chance for me to get to know Sila better. Don't we know each other well enough already? First of all, the name is Sila, which is indeed your name. I see. Speaking of your name, there's something I've always been curious about. In fact, Sila itself is not a common name in Bellabot. Does it have a special meaning? Well, Oleg gave me the name. He said that he meant soul in ancient Bellabogian. I'm not sure what he tried to convey though that name, but to all those thugs and gangsters in the underworld, I'm like a specter always haunting them. Wow, I'm surprised by its profound meaning. How fascinating! Now, the next question. No comment on your personal experience? I do get what it means, but why? Shimorfa, is there anything <laughs> you want to say? Sila said it could make her look more mysterious. Don't pin the blame on me. Okay, I've got it. I'm not going to probe. Let's see what's next. For skills and expertise, you wrote too scary to spe too scary to specify, and that means Chimorfa, do you have a wise answer to the Supreme Guardian's question? Sila forced me to write that. Nobody forced you to do that. <laughs> I'm sure that how close you two are. In fact, I can more or less get what Sila is trying to say. Don't worry, I don't think your skills and expertise will be put to use here. Even if there was such a dispute, I could handle it. No, if there was such a dispute, you should need to summon the Silver Main Guards. Don't forget that protecting me is now one of your duties. You can just gratuitously get yourself hurt. Okay, okay, I got it. Well, let's call it a day. I'll announce the result now. I'm sure I failed. You've passed! Welcome to the Bellabot History and Culture Museum, Sailor. I am not sure how to respond to this. You made Bronya happy! You're not wrong about that. Anyways, everything is fine as long as she is happy. Eh? Are you two having a secret talk? Nothing. Hey, Bronya, what should I do next? Hurry up and assign some jobs to me. Follow me later. We have to go through some formalities. Chimorfa, thank you for your help in the interview. Thanks to you, I've had the chance to get to know Sila better. Please, excuse me now, as I have to take Sila to complete the procedure. Remember to visit the museum often and check on Sila. Do you really have so little trust in me? There you go. And she does have some high stats as well. Nice. Okay, so guys, that's the ending of our event, which is Everwinter City Museum Ledge of Curiosities. Took me a while, it's really a long video, but nice. yeah, nice, thank you. So, for everyone watching, thank you so much. This is Chimorufa, and I will be logging out. Mm -hmm for now and we shall meet again nice. trailblazer yes i know it's nice anyway bye bye